Hello, this is Overlord Pop-Tart. I thought this would make a good intro. I regret my decision. Good evening from Korea. Welcome back. First thing I need to address. This is from last night. I cannot keep doing this. Those videos that are good, that I put a lot of effort into and are like 18 minutes long, I cannot keep doing them. So I legitimately do need responses from you guys down in the comments because I actually, I need to know. Do you guys want shorter videos of like 10 minutes? I can, I, I can do that. I can plan out a script and make sure I don't go off on tangents and keep it down to 10 minutes and do a lot of editing in that from what I can think of. Or would you prefer 18 minute videos on long updates and my thoughts on things with very little editing, just cropping together and cutting out pauses? Uh, I just need to get that out of the way. Let me know down below, please. I, I cannot keep doing that because I can't put five hours into doing something in the middle of the night on a work day because, well, let me get into my day. So the day technically starts at midnight uh, at which I was still editing that video, and I went to bed about 2.30, when it still hadn't processed as an HD video, because who knows, something was wrong, because every time I do anything, something is wrong. I got about three and a half hours of sleep, woke up completely dead on my feet, took a short shower, had actually a weirdly good breakfast because it was the bottom of the Frosted Flakes with the, like, delicious sugary powder at the bottom and then Raisin Bran on top of that. And, like, the flake consistency of both were pretty close but both still complemented each other because one got a little bit soggier towards the end and one stayed a bit crunchier. And then the raisins were kind of in the middle with the sugar. It was really good, weirdly. Like, if they made Frosted Flakes X Raisin Bran crossover, I would totally eat that on the daily. Outside of that, went about getting ready for my day as normal, got my uniform on, hopped on my scooter, drove to work, sat down and just died. Just... I, I had no energy. I could not physically do anything. And I forgot my SD card, which had the pre-recorded uh, second take of the narration on it. So I couldn't put that into my computer and start editing. And I didn't have the photos I needed to put it into the program because they accidentally didn't send it to me. So I was just sitting there like... <laughs> like my body was physically like trying to shut down as I was sitting in the seat. Like it wasn't passing out. It was shutting down. Like I was shuddering, like shaking, trying to continue to like move. Like I was sitting in the seat. Phys when I shook right there, that was what was happening. I was sitting in the seat going... Like, trying to just awake, stay awake, move, breathe. Just completely dead. Luckily, I didn't have to do too much in the morning. I was able to just kind of sit there. I ended up driving the van for lunch because somebody needed a favor. Uh, also, I'm very low. Let me... There we go. <laughs> that was a voice crack. There we go. Now I'm kind of up higher. Now I'm not hiding behind the thing. I ended up driving for lunch, as I said. Somebody needed a favor. So I drove them over to a dry cleaning place where they dropped off an OCP uniform. And somebody else decided to come along and just buy a pizza for like 15 minutes. And I waited for him. He sent a message saying, hey, if I take forever, just leave me. I wasn't going to leave him. It's a good 10-minute walk back. By the time he gets back, that whole pizza would just be freezing cold anyway. So... I just sat there in the parking lot on my lunch break waiting for these guys. I'm making a big deal out of it, but it's just something to talk about, so I'm stretching it out. I, I was fine with doing it. I just, As long as I don't get in trouble, I'm fine. I, I'm 
perfectly fine with helping people out. I just don't want to risk something happening to the TMP or the van that we have. Over lunch, I had a hot pocket, um, a thing of mandarin oranges, and honey, honey, uh, honey, and honey roasted peanuts. That that's what they were called, and a glass of water. So the least healthy thing was a hot pocket, and hot pockets aren't that bad. I'm gonna say. If you're going to choose something to eat that's bad for you and is essentially gas station food, Hot Pockets are probably on the higher end of that. I'm not going to say they're healthy, but they're not, you know, like I'm not eating a Milky Way bar or something like that for lunch. Which I should note is totally something I used to do. When I worked back at high school pharmacy, my very first job, I would eat cold ravioli with like a plastic spoon straight out of the can and like tuna out of the can and like a payday bar. Any of those three things. Like, any of those three things would be my dinner and sometimes my lunch as well because it was the most calories I could get in me for the cheapest amount of money. That's why everything I eat here pretty much comes out of a can because I'm used to that. My only time, my only experience in feeding myself is with cans. And at least this time I'm heating up the food. (laughs) Like, I'm so bad at this. But I was proud of myself for that lunch because it was like nuts, good source of protein, Hot Pocket, that's some kind of bread and probably a little bit of cheese. And then the oranges were some fruit and then water is good for you. I I, I don't know. I didn't have a ton of time due to helping those guys out, so I just watched a little video over lunch. Headed back to the office. Got a lot of work done. I put all of my voiceover into the video and downloaded those photos that I eventually got from the major. So all I need to do now is... Oh shoot, I really did. I really did do the timeline. Okay, this just in. I've just realized I have way more done on the UNC video than I thought I had. I don't know why I was thinking I still had to do the audio. I don't have to do the audio. I have to find less than two minutes more music and put two photos somewhere in there. Those are the only things I have left on that video. Oh my gosh, I'm so close to done on this thing. This has been just hovering over my head for weeks. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I'm so close to done on this. I I got a bunch of work done on the video at work. So I was able to go to PT. I didn't have to stay behind. And we had just kind of an anything day. So I hit the bench. Definitely hit the bench. I'm going to see if I can find the chart that I used to have back in high school to calculate the, like, weights. Because if you do enough reps of... If you do enough reps of a certain weight, you qualify up to a higher weight. So if you do 10 at 135, I did 10 at 100 and... I did 10 at 115 today. So that's probably like 135 or something like that for a one rep maximum. I'm going to see if I can find that image. If I do... I'll put it up right where I was kind of going like that, and I'll make a bigger one of it here. There we go. Just so you can kind of get a look at it for a second, just to see kind of how it works. And I'll put my little number down at the bottom if I do find one. It's probably much lower than I want it to be. But to be honest, that 10 at 115 was like after five different reps of things, and it was not that difficult. I could have probably done 10 at 125. After I benched in there, which is always my favorite workout, I do like benching, I've explained why, I tried to do a yoga thing with one of my coworkers, and I'm going to be honest with you, the lady making that video, she's one of those ladies that goes to a gym in yoga pants, and strangely enough, only ever has leg days. If you kind of get my drift, you know, you know what I mean? The, the girl who goes to the gym in full makeup. That kind of girl. She made like a 8 to 12 minute video of like stretches. And maybe it's normal to her. But putting my knees on the ground behind my head rolling over myself is not something I deem as physically possible. I was kind of floundering. But as entertainingly as possible for the entirety of the yoga session, which was just violent stretching. 
And I was making my coworker laugh to the point where she wasn't able to do any of the exercises she was trying to do because I was over there flailing with my knees by my ears going, I can't do this, as she's like pretzeling herself. So it was it was a hilarious time. At one point, my rather annoying coworker walked in, but uh, annoying mostly harmlessly. <laughs> He walked in and he saw me flailing around and I was like, this is not physically possible. You cannot put your knees on the floor behind your head. And he just walked up, grabbed my feet and shoved. I, like I knew he meant it to do it as like a ha ha, now your legs hurt thing. But it didn't hurt. It just kind of like helped the stretch. And I was like, okay, yes. See, see, my knees are here. They won't go any farther. And he was like, Rrr. and I was like, ah, and it, it wasn't any pain. It was just both of us like yelling trying to put my knees on the ground behind my head and we did not succeed my my point was proven he put his like full weight on my legs just like shoving down to the point where i was like okay i'm going to break something uh and that was just the end of that and the room we were in was super echoey so i just walked in and went i should mention on the ride to the gym and back the wind speed was like 20 plus miles an hour to the point where I was not able to keep up with traffic on my scooter. Like I was below my handlebars. Like I put my glasses on the handlebars to just kind of keep myself semi above it so that I could tilt my head like this and just keep my forward profile as small as possible because from here I was dying and from here I was also dying but less somehow. I'm just, what I'm saying is the wind speed was 20 plus miles an hour and it was awful. It was shoving me all over the road. I felt, I, I walked out of the building and my scooter was thrown to the ground a foot over and my helmet was in the field, like away from it. It was awful, awful, but I, I didn't crash or die or anything like that. And as I drove home, I should note as well, uh, I played rock you like a hurricane the whole way back at maximum volume and I know for a fact as I went by at least one dude was walking with a friend and like watched me go by and was like <laughs> as like a giant breeze just <sighs> pushed everything in existence to the left that was just a funny moment of the day after I got back from PT I didn't take a shower because within three minutes one of my coworkers was like do you want to go to the px and go shopping because she prefers having somebody with her so that you know she can be stopped from buying 135 dollar perfume so i went there we hung out we went through the whole deal of the px and i bought some snacks a couple of weird looking kit kats to send to people back home got back played some gta texted a buddy of mine who liked the last video because a mogus <laughs> and uh yeah started recording I'm going to cut it off now immediately because I don't want this to get any longer because big files. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. This may have been a bit of a hectic one, but I did have a fantastic day today. I'm hoping to get a lot of rest tonight. Whatever time it is for you out there in this mystically Swedish world of ours, whether it be good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, whichever one of those you may be currently experiencing, I just hope whatever time it is, whatever day it is, whatever you're going through, I hope it's good. And if whatever you're going through ain't good, I do sincerely hope it gets better. This has been Overlord Pop-Tart. I will see you in the next one. Do stay frosty. Wait, 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 wait. No, don't, don't go yet. I have a song recommendation. My buddy sent me a song, and I immediately fell in love with it. Kaboom. Listen to this song.